handsome. Well, hello. I just thought I'd get into something more comfortable, and it's my favorite color. Well, Merry Christmas to <laughs> me. Isn't this a wonderful way to come home? Yeah, well, not yet. I was fixing a snack. Do you want anything? Oh, uh, I'll just share whatever you, you're having. And, and I put an 84 Cabernet Franc in the chiller when you told me you are coming over, so uh, be sure to grab that. 84. Wine's 10 years older than she is. Oh, what you watching? Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh, there wasn't really anything on. Thank you. We did leave lights on. You know, we had... Here you go, baby. Thank you. Ugh. Phoenix home. A million channels on this TV, and there's still nothing to watch. Here, you drive for a while. You're the entertainment expert. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like I spend all my time flipping through TV channels? No. Listen, baby. You know a lot more about pop culture than I'll ever know. I couldn't tell you anything good that's on TV. That's probably true. Okay, I'll look on Netflix to see if there's anything you'll like. All right. Okay. Another Scottsdale home has been the victim of robbery since this alarming trends of breaking started earlier this year. I'm here with Laura, who is part of this, uh, who's a member of this group, and tell me, Laura, what exactly is going on here? Why are you here tonight? Oh, I mean, it's just so true. Like, it's time for them to pay. Why do they deserve so much more than us? I mean, seriously, who needs five TVs? So you don't think that the uh, a criminal here, which uh, has been stealing from them, uh, you don't think he needs to go to jail and, and, and be stopped? No, if anything, I have a message for him. Can I have a TV? <laughs> well, there you have it, uh, John and Catherine. Like I said, they are not going anywhere. They want to make these guys sure are clowns. They have no idea how to protect themselves. What's up? Oh, on the news, Cynthia. Another house got robbed. I'm sure you've heard about it. As in all the previous robberies, police could find no evidence of how the thief gained access to the victims' homes. The thief, who has now been dubbed by the media the silent shoplifter, has now victimized 32 homes. Residents in these wealthy parts of town that are being victimized are now being instructed to bring anything of extreme value to the protection of their local banks. We got nothing to worry about. My company is specialized in residential security. I don't know, Scotty. With my luck, somebody might break in tonight. Maybe we should reschedule? Really? Cynthia? You know, I just installed a brand new state-of-the-art $80,000 security system in the house. The only way a crook is getting in this house is if we invite him in. And I tell you what, I don't intend in sharing tonight. Do you? Uh, I don't know. Could be fine. Listen. You stay with me tonight. It's cold outside. Are you sure we're safe? Yes, I'm sure. And aren't I always right? Look, there's nothing but trash on TV anyways. Why don't we go upstairs to the bedroom and watch a movie? Or something. <sighs> or something might be nice. Let's go. Wait, are you, are you sure we're safe? <sighs> Baby, listen. My company did not get to be the most trusted name in residential security for nothing. Believe me, we're safe. Okay, let's go. <laughs> of individuals have already gathered to protest against police searching for this uh, so-called uh, silent house bandit whom, according to them, has already broken into 
more than 30 upscale homes stealing from them. And according to this group, that is exactly what he needs to do for it. It is time for the rich to pay, for they have been struggling in life while the rich have it pretty well made.